Let's turn our attention now uh, to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic here in the U.S. Again, uh, the election overshadowing overshadowing most news that's come out over the last couple of days. Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kamlani, though, joins us now uh, with a bit of depressing news, Anjali, on what we've seen uh, on the COVID front, especially as it pertains to case counts continuing to climb at a record rate here in the U.S. That's right, Miles. Unfortunately, the overshadowing coming at a time where, as we've seen, the cases have just continued to rise as experts warn, but even faster and at a higher pace than really anyone anticipated this early into uh, the later months of the year. So as it stands right now, uh, not only did we surpass 90,000 cases in the past week, but now, as of yesterday, more than 100,000 cases in a single day reported, uh, some reports as high as 108,000. And that is really the absolute record, smashing more than doubling what we saw earlier this year. So, you know, multiples actually of what we saw earlier this year. If we recall very early on, we were at 20,000 per day, uh, sort of when New York and New Jersey were the hot, were the hot spots. Um, as it looks right now, more, more or less the eastern half of the country is the most impacted. Um, and that is, of course, we know that the mountain and sort of Midwest region uh, did come out of its latest wave most recently. So whether or not this continues to roll into yet another wave there will remain to be seen. But but as it stands, deaths as well continuing to rise. That's something that uh, was uh, sort of seen as having, you know, hospitals and health systems had a handle on uh, because of uh, better medical protocols to deal with it. But uh, really some concerns right now on some hard decisions that are going to be made as hospitalizations increase. Um, and this, of course, is uh, p placing pressure on some states and some cities who have already, uh, you know, instilled some uh, stricter restrictions or uh, curfews. Um, questions about lockdowns in certain areas, which we've already seen now in, in a good part of Europe. So waiting to see how this all pans out, but very concerning right now. All right, Anjali Kimlani uh, with the latest on the pandemic. Anjali, thanks so much. All right.